Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're going to be playing the game The Quest. Now, I'm not playing the actual game today, though I will um, ask that if you want me to play the, the game itself, then let me know. And I'll show you what it looks like at the end, but I wanted to show you what I found in the game that is really intriguing to me at least, being someone who really likes the RPG card game kind of thing. So, they have a card game. You can choose a warrior, a sorcerer, and a necromancer. They all play differently. The warrior is just uh, brute strength um, and armor and has potions to heal. Sorcerer has spells to heal, has uh, damage shields, direct damage, damage bonus, the Necromancer uses its health to cast spells, but then also has the ability to use leech spells. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the Weir. We're going to go ahead and use max um, money and uh, see what we fight against. So, we're going to be fighting against the Necromancer. One thing I've learned by playing against the Necromancer is that you want to bolster your defense as soon as possible because they are very... Very strong. These are the two defenses I have. 33 um, 33% damage reduction per turn. Durability 15 points. So this will last as long as uh, or until they have done 15 damage to me. Probably one of my favorite shields. There we go. We're going to go ahead and now start doing damage because we have a lot and you can see he's doing damage to himself as well throw up a damage over time now my health is going to start going down a whole lot this is a damage bonus we'll go ahead and put out our arrows and our bow we're low on health, so I'm going to go ahead and use my heal potion. And I'm going to start trying to beat them down. Hope I'll get a heal ability. This will allow you to use two cards at once. This is going to allow me to double the damage. So here we go. He's down to three. I'm down to 11. Oh, while well, I want to uh, take him out right now, I can't. There's no way I could at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and heal myself. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe away one of his abilities. I got another heal. Let's go ahead and put defense up. Wow, he is just... He is just keeping me at... Okay, I'm at 9, he is at 8. I have only these that I can throw up at the moment. He, he's he got me unless I get a heal. Oh, wait. That's... I'm going to bring him down to 3. And I lost. So, this shows you that the game can be definitely very hard. They can definitely take you out. And I've lost several times to the uh, to the AI. Let's go ahead and try again. I'm going to go ahead and keep the warrior. It's just the thing I do best. And we're going against a warrior. So this is going to be a completely different kind of match. This is probably going to be a battle of attrition. Because everything that I have, he has. And everything that I try to do to him, he can do back to me. And he uh, gets blocked by my defenses uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this down right now it adds five health to my total health and go ahead and keep pushing him down uh, I really have nothing else I can throw down other than um, bonuses or um, yeah okay we'll go ahead and start and we'll go ahead and throw a heal Now, it may look like we're getting ground on him, but he has the same heals that I do. 
So I'm not really um, expecting much at the moment. If I win just straight out the bat, uh, it will be a lot of luck and a lot of bad luck on his side for cards. Um... There we go. Damage bonus. <laughs> this is just back and forth. It's one of those games that if you um, if you get stuck, you'll in your mind you, you will all you'll do is try to mitigate the damage instead of trying to attack and what i found is that as long as you hold down the heels don't waste them you'll be able to um take care of the thing that you're fighting pretty easily so i'm going to go ahead and pop this pop that it's not it wasn't a big heal but it was a heal uh, we're going to do a 50 percent damage bonus and we're going to go ahead and throw down yes we beat him okay so let's go ahead and try again i'm going to try the sorcerer this time something that i haven't played very much i always bet the max because it's only 50 gold and i have um i've been playing for a while so i have money saved up um, let's see, Rage of Nature inflicts 4 damage for 3 turns, uh, 4 health, 7 health, 2 health per turn for 10 turns, direct damage. I think I'm going to go ahead and start there. Oh, we're playing against the Sorcerer as well. Fantastic. Uh, not really. Um, inflicts 1 damage per turn. Let's see if we can stack these. And let's go ahead and throw up the regeneration as well. And continue on. Wow, we, uh, we are now staying around that. Um, let's go ahead and throw down direct damage. Uh, that's an ouch. Let's go ahead and take off his uh, abilities. We're at two monoliths now. We have double regeneration. Um, I can't believe I haven't gotten a single ability to do damage. But I have damage bonuses. So I'm going to go ahead and waste this. Get me back to full. There we go. It's five damage on the opponent and destroys one of its markers. I have some damage bonus here. That's four turns. And this as well, you know, I don't want to waste these, so I'm going to go ahead and go straight to do damage to him. And I think he's worried now. I think he's very, very worried. Um, damage bonus per turn. Five damage. Well, okay, so he healed himself. The inflicts two damage on the opponent per turn. Yep, we'll definitely do that. This is um combo card allows us to heal half. So, oh boy, let's go ahead and keep doing what we're doing. I mean, really can't do much more than that. Let's keep stacking here. He's staying at 20. I'm staying about 40. Um, it's kind of crazy how this is going down. Of course, he throws another um, health, uh, direct damage. Um, oh, damage uh, shield. That's, or not damage shield, but um, yeah, damage shield. Does damage to him. Anytime he hits me, reflects 25% damage back to him. No, it's, is it damage shield? Yeah, it's damage shield, I think. Wow, I was so bad at this. <laughs> Okay, he is now on the run. He's at three health. One health. Well, wow. oh, he attacked me. And um, all I have to do is heal myself. 
he's going to kill himself on this next attack. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right, regeneration. Three damage per turn. Next turn should get him killed. 50% damage reduction. Definitely going to do that. And a one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we're going to go ahead and do one last game. This is going to be with the Necromancer. Just as, so we've played everything. He is now playing the warrior. The one character that I fear the most. So inflicts damage. Uh, five damage per uh, turn for three turns. Inflicts damage per turn for two turns. Um, okay. I think we're going to just throw off uh, three of these on here. Oh, what, how does that work? Am I, am I killing myself by doing it this way? I'm pretty sure that's a life tap. Inflicts five damage for one damage. Regenerate. Start adding on pets. Okay, we need to see if there's anything that's... Okay, he's dead. I don't think he's going to last one more round. Yes! So much faster than that. Um, though I was noticing there wasn't very many opportunities to actually heal myself. Um, let me go ahead and show you the game. At least just a little bit. So, you always have a bar in a town or a tavern. You have uh, merchants in the square usually. Uh, this is for spells. Uh, let's go ahead and buy and sell them. And you have burning hands. You have uh, cure wounds, which I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, curse. Uh, you already know this spell. Uh, you don't know this spell. Spell book of Mark. What is teaches Mark? What does Mark do? Who is this Mark? Why do I, uh, should I know him? I don't, I don't know Mark, um, but I am going to buy it. And let's go ahead and leave. Go, this is Mark. I have learned it. It was a thief who first used this spell so that he could mark the position where he had hidden gold so he could go back and retrieve his treasure at his leisure. He has made it freely available for everyone to use, but it's very expensive, of course. The number of uh, positions you can mark depends on your skill level. This incantation should be used to con um, in, in conjunction to the spell recall. Oh, that's cool. So we can actually put down our bind point. I mean, this is going based off of EverQuest uh, wording. Uh, we can set our bind point. And then, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, stone skin, burning hand, curse... Drain health, unholy ward. Oh, really cool. What's feather? Okay, let's go ahead and use mark. Um, yes, let's. Position has been marked. Do I even have? You don't. No scrolls. Feather mark. Okay, so I need to definitely get that other ability. But this is all I have for you today. I just wanted to show you the game. It is definitely different. Oh, as you walk across the bridge, suddenly you hear a strange voice, strange female voice on the wind rustle, on the wind rustle softly in your ear. That's, that's, I didn't say that right. Let's try it again. As you walk across the bridge, suddenly you hear a strange female voice on the wind rustle softly in your ear saying, be careful. My dear, fortify yourself. 
<laughs> How was that? Was that much better? Um, I don't know. But anyway, guys, this is all I wanted to show you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will talk to you later. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.